today. I did. I'm here just for just for you guys. Taking guesses. Four hundred. Yeah. That's about where I was gonna think. Four hundred, you think? Yeah. Twin turbo V6. I think it'll make four hundred. She went like low twelve. I think. Yeah. She went like 12, 2, 12, 4, something like that. I forgot what it was. Yeah. Like 3, 389. Yeah, I was going to say 388 to 387. Auto. I go 397. 6. 396. I go 390. 390? Yeah. I'm doing 402. 402? Yeah. Oh. Give her the Benny. Take downpipes and or something? Yeah. Oh, nice. Downpipe intakes and tunes. Sweet. Today, Junior. It wasn't too bad to put plugs in it. No? I had to like unbolt these, um, I guess they're cold side piping, yeah. And they just kind of roll out of the way. Okay. And then you get right to the pool, so yeah, it wasn't bad. I guess they shoe wedge it behind the uh, axle for a little bit better weight distribution yeah. there. I mean, you could tell. Yeah, it's back in there pretty far. Yeah. What uh what intake system is it? It's a uh, new air. New air, okay. Yep. It's their whole it's their stage one. Okay. Which is just basically spark plugs, intake. No. I think it's like a cat delete X pipe. Okay. It's useful for something. Yeah. Useful as a pole jack. You want to just put a hand on the back so I drop this cross member and then I'm yeah. going to take it from you. And she's so, out. Replacing that with that. That makes sense. Did Bill order one or did we have? Should have ordered it. We kind of get. So and that's the uh, replacement for the uh, for the cat. Yep. Down plate. Let's take the twos out.
So let's see what it looks like down here. Alright, so we got like, where your cats were. And then your little X pipe was right back here. And that's gone. Still stock mufflers and everything, but it should still be quite a bit louder. Yeah, I think so. It's probably not going to be as like smooth sounding either now that there's no like X or H pipe or whatever you want to call it. Coming down. Assuming we can just fire this thing up, we don't need a flash or anything, do we? Nope. I just got to put a little in it. Okay. So it is just plugs, oil. Plugs, oil, intake. Cat tape, yep. Be interested to see what this thing picks up. Dude, I think it's gonna pick up a hundred. You really think that much? Yeah. Damn. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, that'd be a lot. I'm thinking tune alone you would probably see close to 50. I'd have to imagine they got this thing fairly turned down. I mean, we saw the zero, the new zero one was freaking like way conservative. Yeah. Five thirty. Yeah. Oh, you ready? I'm gonna get behind it. Yeah, I'm ready. Eric gonna sit in my shot. I'm a shot, man. Go ahead. that again. Well, yeah. I want to hear, I want to hear a red. Probably red limiting while well, it's cold. A little turbo whistle. Yeah. I got to take a little video. Hold on. Put it back in loud mode. I'll show you how to do it. That's better. <laughs> but it'll look like I took it on this fucking piece of yeah, wood. Yeah, because you have Samsung. Samsung. God. Looks like a fucking toaster video. Dude, I was getting so pissed trying to send uh, videos this weekend. Did you get the crosshair? Oh, yeah. You got it. You got it. I heard something that was not a V8. Is that what you heard? Heard it. In. Because you don't race anybody. <laughs> I raced GTR one. Race at. Uh, you were so hung up on you beating this one GTR. It happens, so whatever. Whatever. Uh, S3. 
gapped him. Um, 480 horsepower, twin turbo 300 ZX. Raced him, beat him. I went in, I went in on this medium. Official call out, Lord. Next project. We'll, uh, we'll head scan. What's that? What are we yeah, doing on this uh, head scan? Day three. Okay. So, head scan, uh, nano, injectors. I think it already has an intake and headers and stuff, so I think it's got Coke's headers from what Bill said, so. It sounds like it's got exhaust. So. Yeah. Stock intake, stock intake manifold, <laughs> Cook's headers, X pipe, and then it's got Billy Boat exhaust. I'm gonna take Eric's guess right off the bat. 487. Yep, you took my guess. So. <laughs> I knew it would be. It's my go-to guess. I know. Because uh, 87. 490. Yeah? All right. I'm going to say 491, but I'll go for... I'll go lower. Yeah, that's probably a smarter choice. I'll go for... 83. Okay. I know, then I was thinking, then I was thinking, I'm like... Yeah, you should not think so much. You hurt your head. Yeah. Like Ozzy Osbourne said, I'll see you on the other side. Hilarious. So what, uh, well, I'd ask you what you're doing, but you got a razor blade in your mouth. I don't want you to, uh... I can talk. I'm talking right now, aren't I? What are we doing to, uh, Matt C7C? We are doing a Pro Charger. Ooh. Fuel system. Okay. Um, LME intake. Oh, nice. And you know what, blower? I would have to say an F1, but I do not know. I would assume he's going big. I'm guessing 94. Yeah, he's going big, man. Big as go home. Okay, we can get rid of this little tank to tank. So this is one we did previously, though. We did cam, uh, intake, flex fuel. What else did we do? Obviously headers and all that stuff. It's gonna be a little monster. I heard he's got some forge lines coming for it too. Oh really? Yeah. Sweet. And he was talking to Fran about Franz. He was like, yeah, I got some coming. What's your favorite thing, man? Thou spring. Thou spring day. Thou spring week. Yeah, really. I mean cam week. Thou spring. I need two cams this week. Okay, I'm 
two days. One call. <laughs> So I know everybody has different experience of mechanical backgrounds. Some people have none, so we're gonna kinda break this down for you for the people that have no idea, but then also give you some more information for some people that are medium knowledge. So Matt's got the airline hooked up right where the spark plug goes. He threads that right in there. And what that's doing is applying constant pressure to the valves and holding them up. If you didn't have that, that in there, the valves would just fall straight down and you would have a valve that just basically goes right into the cylinder. And then we'd be pulling a head off. And you might be pulling a head off, yes. Um, uh, now obviously you could do the other method, which is the top dead center method, but that takes a lot longer. I wouldn't trust that. I anyways. always avoid any piston to valve contact, even just letting the valve rest on top of the piston. I don't think is the right way to do it. I agree. I agree. Yeah, so at least when you're on a bench, you're usually up against a plastic or like I put down cardboard on the table. Not true. Sure. True. You don't damage the valve in any way. Exactly. So what he's doing is he's taking out, took out the old valve springs. The old seats, I guess that's the, the correct word. Spring seat. Spring seat. Spring yeah. seat. Put the new ones in for the new um, dual valve springs. Mm -hmm. And now he's going to compress this down, compress the springs down. It's another thing, if you didn't have the airline in, you can press the valve springs in. Obviously you couldn't, you can't put the keepers on the top of the valves, so air helps that. So those are your new keepers. Harden. So that obviously keeps the whole pack together. Yep. So those basically sit next to each other on the valve, and then the, uh, so the keepers are, I'm going to get another shot from here, it is the keepers holding the valve together to apply pressure. We'll give you a little comparison here for the uh, stock valve springs, which are a single valve spring, to the dual valve spring of the grind tool and racing valve springs. So do you also want to explain the um, benefit from going from a single to a dual valve spring in that? Yeah, um, you know, when you're putting a car together, the main purpose of racing and beating on it, constantly running the engine at its red line, basically, and with the valve going up and down that fast. So for one, it's just extremely hard on the valve spring, and, you know, you commonly see the stock ones break. Even on Chevy trucks, they break valve springs just under light towing. True. So, the dual spring, much stronger. And the extra pressure would keep the valve from floating at that high RPM. Which obviously, the valve floats you down on compression, you're down on power. Right. Just overall reliability and the valve float issue. Especially when you're adding a cam that's got more lift and duration. And yeah, and then boost it gets even worse. Yeah. You just, your cylinder pressure just goes through the roof. I had one of mine, my dual valve springs, the actual, the outer one broke. And uh, because the inner one didn't, it kept my valve from actually dropping and destroying my engine. So that was a plus. So I think mine was caused from over -riding. That's, yeah, I mean, that's... Sometimes that, if you do over rev or something like that, you can damage parts. Parts fail. But something like this is definitely a lot stronger. Way stronger. It's time for a montage.
There you have it everybody, there is today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We will see you next week and give you an update on all those vehicles as well as some of the other vehicles waiting to go on the dyno. Have a good weekend everybody, we'll see you next time.